am Caitlin, and today I'm going to be setting this gentleman up to get an IV by gravity set. And then also we're going to be giving him two kinds of medication. One will be um, something that would not bother the IV solution, and another one would be another one that is not compatible. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to first wash your hands. Get yourself all ready. And I don't know, this gentleman came up from the ER, so I don't know the patency of the IV, so I want to check that by getting an alcohol prep. I don't need gloves because I'm just using alcohol. I'll swab that for about 15 seconds. And then I'm just going to check the patency by flushing some in. And yep, yeah, it's patent. That's all we need to know. Okay, next I'm going to get my my actually my bag ready and I've checked it with doctor's orders three times it's the right it's not wet it's not expired and it looks to be okay there's no cloudy it's very clear inside and so I'm going to get another one of these ready on the tubing set so I'm just going to set that aside also get the tubing set up So I'm going to take off these white tabs. Okay, now we're going to stop the monitor. Okay, and we're just maintaining sterility here. down and that's sterile to sterile so that's what we need and then our little clamp is clamped so we're going to hang that up we want to fill that drip chamber halfway with the fluid and we're just going to flush the line make sure you go fast enough so you want to take all day, but you don't want to get any air bubbles. Just wait for it to go through the line. Alright, and we are at the end. Okay, so next we're going to scrub the connector again with alcohol, maintaining sterility all around. I'm going to uncap this. I'm not as sterile right now. Alrighty. I'm going to tape right over it. I'm going to use it. I'm also going to put my label on the tubing because it does have an expiration. You don't want to use these so long since so my date and time. And also I'm going to label this saying when I put it on. It's only good for so long. And then I would set my drip rate and the doctor check the orders and set the drip rate accordingly by lowering this. And you just want to count the drips and make sure it's set up properly. So, okay, we got our drip rate going. I've calculated it all up. And so next this uh, gentleman needs his medication. So first off, I'm going to be giving a drug that is, this machine does not want to go off. <clears throat> Next I'm going to be giving, giving a drug that is not compatible with the medication. So the fluid is, the IV is running, everything is okay. So we're going to find the site closest to him. I'm going to flush. I'm going to. Use a slide clamp, clamp it shut, because we don't want to hurt the IV flow rate, so we're just going to clamp that. And I'm just going to flush with the solution, get that line clear. Okay. Now I'm going to be giving the medication that we know is not compatible. and I'll give that medication 
and make sure I check the time if it needs to go in within a minute you know you'll wait that time and once the medication's in take another IV flush and this is all sterile to sterile right now so I'm not breaking any sterile fields and then we'll flush again with the normal saline and then we've given that medication so we'll open back up the clamp the slide clamp and still dripping appropriately so next we're going to be giving a medicine that is not compatible with I or that is compatible with IV solution and I check the orders and I need to dilute it in 10 milliliters of normal saline so I've unclamped that and again it's sterile to sterile so I just want to insert that in there put in the medication that I need put that in the sharps and go again right to this on that and then make sure it connects on so then we're just gonna clamp the tubing when you push it in and this needs to be given over a minute so you give a little bit and then unclamp it and let the fluid run we'll clamp it again give a little more and unclamp it and you just want to do this just that it doesn't burn the patient and it goes in slow enough for the patient so it doesn't hurt them. And then keep clamping, give a little more. And you'll do that over the span of the minute until all the medication is received. And then you'll loosen up your hold of that. So now the gentleman is, the line's running and he got all the medication he needed. So again, you'll just chart the whole entire procedure from beginning to end. How the patient tolerated it, how the IV site looks, how the bag was. Make sure everything is labeled, and then you're done with that scale.